Hi, this is Dr. Amy Salerno, also known as Doctora Latina or Dra Latina. going to briefly speak to you all today really as a commentary uh, and reflection regarding the Kylie Rodney autopsy slash coroner medical investigation publication that came out two days ago. Prior to making any brief commentary on that, I did want to mention that I am a board certified family practitioner, which means that I delivered thousands of babies over the 30 years that I've been in practice. I've also taking care of newborns, pediatrics, adolescents, young adults, and geriatric patients from a, uh, an internal medicine perspective. I have a fellowship from Brown Medical School in maternal child health and obstetrics. And I also have many, many years of psychiatry uh, training. I have sadly dealt with victims of domestic violence, children in SA situations um, over the many years that I have been in practice. I've seen some of my patients suicide from overdoses of uh, unintentional overdoses, intentional overdoses, etc. So I'm quite seasoned in attending the um, examination of deceased individuals, also in being present at crime scenes, fatal car accidents, emergency room traumas, trauma surgery in helping to assist trauma surgeons, and sadly, dozens of families I've unfortunately had to sit with and notify them of the death of a loved one. And we always do this in person. We always sit down, look at the patient's family, and we tell them the news. It's never done by telephone. The true crime YouTube community has been rife with struggle and uh, inter channel conflict over the past couple of months and that gives me pause and it makes me sad because I believe every content creator, whether they are sleuthing or they're a retired medical examiner, retired police officer, murder investigator, it doesn't really matter. We all have the right to agency. Agency being our voice. We all have the right to share our opinions, but it should be done in a truthful, kind, and authentic way. It has been said that very few, if any, followers, subscribers, members on the YouTube or in the YouTube true crime community have any appreciation or experience with um, investigation or presence at uh, criminal crime scenes and that simply just is not true and I, I really would like to um, disabuse uh, our community of that uh, that concept many of us many of us have experience but we all whether or not we have experience deserve agency Kylie Rodney's autopsy is not, in what I've read, in the close to 20 pages of information that was published, is not consistent with an accidental drowning. I will not go into the specifics right now, but I will certainly 
do that sometime later this week so that you all can understand the specific criteria that we look for in a drowning at autopsy to make an argument towards that diagnosis or cause of death, which as I have said on another channel recently, drowning is often at autopsy a diagnosis of exclusion when we can't find something that would point towards a different cause of death. In Kylie Rodney's case, we really can't make that determination, the drowning determination, for many reasons. For now, I'll just point you to the toxicology screen, which was incomplete. As we say in medical school, as we learned in the first year, second year, third year, all the way up through my fellowship and on, medical legally, medico legally, if a document, a medical document, does not contain information, it wasn't done. So, since there are many pieces of information from the physical, macroscopic and microscopic autopsy of Kyla Rodney missing, as a medical professional, licensed and board certified, I would have to say, per best practices in my profession, it wasn't done. In addition, the talk screen. It is clear to me based on what was, what was screened for. There were things that were crucial that were not screened for, specifically fentanyl which is a synthetic, that's my dog barking, which is a synthetic opiate, 50%, up to 50 to 55% of patients with fentanyl overdoses test negative for opiates on a regular opiate screening because fentanyl is a synthetic opiate. And that test was not done, fentanyl testing. For Kylie Rodney. In addition, there was no testing for hallucinogenics, i.e. LSD, mushrooms, etc. So we truly cannot come to a conclusion regarding whether or not there was an inadvertent or purposeful overdosing that led to death. For now, I'm going to leave you with those thoughts and I'm going to ask you to stay tuned to my next episode when I will get into some of the specifics. Now, I do believe we have to look at some of the specifics of the autopsy without reading every last piece of it. We must look at those specifics in order to make informed evidence, informed evidence-based conclusions. We can do that without discussing the more maudlin, morbid sort of aspects of an autopsy that likely would upset a layperson to hear about. So, I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that YouTube creators and followers and members of the true crime community will do some discernment about their role in our community and hopefully make some decisions going forward about lifting one another up rather than tearing each other down. And until next time, I would say adios mis amigos. Adelante con valentía. Go forward with courage. Avante con coraggio.